please put your hands together in the Gonzo studio because we are joined by Miss Power herself, Connie Constance, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to the Gonzo Brown Couch. I'm so exciting. I mean, we are taking your television virginity right now, I believe. Literally, first time on TV in the Gonzo lab. I mean, it's not every day you lose your virginity on a couch. So, Miss Power, this feels like a kind of reintroduction to you as the second record, because it's your name. Is it you or an alter ego? No, it's definitely me. I think that's, that's the thing. It feels like stepping into my power and finding myself, and this album is like the child of that experience. If I'm right in saying it's a concept album, I know you're into fairy stuff, so it's from the point of view of a fairy or you? Yeah, so basically when we were like putting the album together, I was like, I feel like the storyline for this is if a fairy was born like 10,000 years ago and they like melted from ice and then um, they step out and this is how they see the world. So obviously they're my stories like written in the album, but that's kind of how we framed it. And then as it goes into the album, it gets like darker as they come against things like there's like a feminist anthem in there, like kamikaze and it like, gets there's some anxiety and then we kind of come out the other end with like do you know what i think everything's going to be okay yeah how's the, fa <laughs> the fairy's pretty chill by the yeah the fairy's like cool i'm going to keep this moving but yeah <laughs> this world is a lot but okay so you've mentioned that your album is from the point of view as a fairy how how good are you with casting spells would you say well i do have one trick up my sleeve i mean I would quite like to be turned into a supermodel, like I'm thinking a Bella Hadid kind of vibe. Could, okay. could you make that happen? I mean, I'd give it a go. I'm a little bit rusty, but I can see, see what I can do. That's okay, give it your best. Like, just do what you can do. Luckily, I brought my wand. Oh, she's come prepared. <laughs> okay, think supermodel thoughts. We're thinking Bella, we're thinking Gigi. Lots of water, hydration, go, I'm ready. One, two, three. Well, this isn't ideal. Um, reverso? Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, that didn't go quite to plan, Connie. I did say I was a bit rusty. I said Bella Hadid. We both said things we didn't mean, didn't we? <laughs> How was your life as a frog? <laughs> I mean, slimy but good, actually. Slimy <laughs> but good. So, let's have a chat about the latest track, Hurt You. So, Hurt You is kind of like the villain anthem, or my villain anthem, and it's basically like, you know, everyone Set, like all the kind of voices or people saying that you, like, things aren't going to work out from yourself and from you know people around you having like low expectations and then being like boom I'm here what like yeah I'm here and I'm ready to go. I love that, that's some like vigilante <laughs> yes. in there. It's like let's go. <laughs> now the title track Miss Power obviously it's what the album's named for it's important it's high energy, it's a banger, <laughs> come on, like in a word. It's a classic indie banger and this is the song that's really like, it's like kind of like walking out the house, it's like leaving that job, it's being like, I am done, I'm free and I'm on to my journey, like I know where I'm going and it's gonna be great. So that is like, that is the feeling of this record. Now I hear Muhammad Ali is your idol. Yeah, big fan of Muhammad Ali, like got loads of pictures of him like up in my like grandparents' house like growing up, so he's definitely like a big figure. I come from like a boxing family, so. Oh my Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's intimidating. <laughs> I would have been a boxer. This is what happens when you go away, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Connie, thank you so much for joining us in the Gonzo studio and thank you for helping me realise my, my dreams as a sexy frog person. <laughs> thank you for having me so much. Thank you so much. Connie Constance, everyone!